your hair is not going to grow back if you do not tackle your mental health hi you guys and welcome to asian marie tv and as you can see from the title i will be going into great detail on how i cured my alopecia and how i grew my hair back in less than six months we will be talking about everything from mental health hair care, and everything in between. So the things that I will be talking about in this video can work for anyone, any hair texture. Even if you have not suffered from alopecia, if your hair is thinning, if you just want to grow your hair longer and thicker, if you are transitioning from relaxed hair to natural, this video can help you as well. Ever since I started this method, my hair is much thicker and it's also much longer this is my hair growing from my scalp no clip-ins no tape-ins so i just want to start off by saying the fact that my hair is in a middle part right now is a miracle because when my alopecia first started my first ball spot started in the dead center so as you can see my hair is in a middle part so if that does not tell you that my method works so let's get into this video so I do have my notebook with me I have a lot of notes I don't want to miss anything before we get started into hair care and the products that I use vitamins etc I want to give you guys a backstory on how my alopecia actually started okay so about two years ago in August I was kind of having a rough time I was switching careers I was lonely didn't really have many friends that were supportive of me so after my birthday um, I had a person come into my life this person was a friend I have known them previously throughout high school and college. This person was like, hey, you know, I live in your city now. You know, we should link up, blah, blah, blah. And at the time, I didn't have many friends. I was open to it, but I just want to be honest. Connecting, reconnecting with this person was like the worst decision I could have made at that time. But I wasn't as aware of what this person had to offer. So moving forward, me and this person became really close, hung out almost every day. This person and I didn't really mesh well. We always argued about things. They were always being like rude or had something negative to say about me. And then when I defend myself, they get very defensive and want to argue. It just was a lot of back and forth. And, and that caused a lot of stress. And at the time, I wasn't strong enough to remove myself from this person because I felt like, oh, well, this is a new person in my life. You know, maybe I need them. Maybe this is good. I just tolerated way too much from this person so moving forward in April I unfortunately lost a very very close family member so this person was very very close to me when I mean like a brother to me we grew up you know and we are always together this person was always by my side but unfortunately in April my family member was gunned down um, he was very, very young in his early 30s and this was detrimental to me and my family. This, you know, really took a toll on me and at the time, this person who was in my life started to show signs of narcissism. I don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation with a narcissist. It is something out of this world when I tell you it puts a lot of mental strain and stress on you if you've ever dealt with a person that shows signs of narcissism if you are having a tough time in life if you are going through something they will make it worse they will make it 10 times worse so if you can imagine I'm grieving the loss of a very very close family member and I also have a person in my life 
that is this person is selfish this person isn't there to console me they aren't giving me any type of sympathy whatsoever it's all about them is what they want this person would threaten to you know end their life and mine at the same time you know i've had situations where i'm driving with this person and i'm just upset crying about my past loved one and this person wants to argue and this person is grabbing my steering wheel and threatening to kill us both. I knew them around high school and college and me and this person had a bad history. But I assumed, you know, we were older and this person was different and this person was actually 10 times worse. Um, and the problem with this was I wasn't strong enough to remove myself and the fact that I was grieving and I felt like I needed someone sometimes you don't realize what you're really going through until things happen so moving forward this person was still in my life at the time and um, it was July of last year so july of 2023 i went on a trip to tulum mexico and i do have a vlog of my tulum trip so if you guys missed it um but at that time when i took that trip i don't know if you guys paid attention to that video but i spoke a lot about you know self-care and like i really needed that trip to get my mind together and take my mind off of what i was dealing with i always do my own hair and i did though the hair that you see in that video i had knotless braids I did my hair myself. I always do my hair myself and that's nothing new. I always make sure, you know, I'm not braiding my hair too tight. I, I use the right oils and hair gel and things of that nature. I've been doing my own hair for years. I did have those braids in for two weeks prior to the trip. So um, days before the trip, I actually refreshed my braids, meaning I removed the braids on my perimeter and in the middle where my part is and I just re-braided them with new braiding hair just so the parts that anyone sees looked fresh for the trip. The trip was really last minute so I didn't have time to redo my entire hair. So when I came back from the trip and I was taking my braids out, my next hairstyle, well this was two weeks before my birthday, like I said my birthday is in August. So um, I was in between hairstyles. I didn't want to really do like a sew in or something like that because I knew I was going to be changing my hair for my birthday. So two weeks before my birthday, I actually did large knotless braids. As I was styling my hair, I noticed a little ball spot right in the middle and it was really small. And so I assumed that maybe it was from the tension of my braids, you know. Sometimes when your hair is too tight, you know, you, you, you might have a little fallout. So I just assumed that that spot was from my braids. Okay, keep in mind, I was dealing with a lot at the time. So moving forward, I began to style my hair in ways that would hide that small ball spot. So I would do like slick backs or I'll insert a photo or a video of how I did my hair for my birthday. So I did like a slick back look with a little ponytail and my hair was short. Just assuming, oh my hair is going to grow back because I just got a little, you know, break it. So maybe that September I got a quick weave that I did on myself. So if you guys don't know what a quick weave is. That is when you braid your hair back and I only left the perimeter of my hair out and you glue on tracks. So you put on a wig cap and you glue tracks to the wig cap. This is if you just don't know what a quick weave is. It was time for me to take my quick weave out. Um, I take my quick weave out the same every single time. I'm not new to this. So, you know, I get in the shower, run warm water, and just let the hair just fall off. The glue will eventually loosen and it will just fall off your head. I did my hair care routine in the shower, detangled my hair. But that shower was a bit different. As I was detangling my hair in the shower, I noticed large clumps of hair was falling out. And they were falling out at the root. So the hair was like maybe 10 strands just falling out. You know, usually when you brush your hair out, you'll have maybe two or three strands that are separated. My hair was falling out 
in clumps when i got out of the shower so when i walk out of my shower the mirror is directly in front of me for some reason my hair was naturally parted on the side and i had a large ball spot and i knew that i had a ball spot in the middle i knew that already so i had to really like get in the mirror and like really look because i'm like in, in my mind i know i have one ball spot why is there a ball spot on the side and it just was crazy that my hair was naturally parted right there for me to see it so at that point i had two bald spots that is when i had to go back to the drawing board and figure out what is going on because i didn't have any type of hairstyle that had a lot of tension if you've ever had a quick weave your hair is braided you know underneath the cap nothing is directly pulling on your hair so at that point i had to think it's not my hairstyle so i did a little research and i found out that i had alopecia so that is when i had to find different methods to grow my hair back i love my hair i am a leo i don't know if you guys know anything about leos but we are obsessed with our hair um, so i found out that i had the most common type of alopecia where you have hair loss in coin size patches i had to realize that my hair didn't fall out from tension tension if your hair breaks from tension then you will still have some hairs at the root my scalp was completely bald like smooth no hair whatsoever so alopecia can form in different ways some people are born with it like i said i've never dealt with anything like this so it is not hereditary so i won't go into detail on all the different ways you can get alopecia i just will speak on the things that affected me um at first i assumed it maybe was a ringworm i was like i was at the beach i may have had sand in my hair that was not the case so in my case what affected me was hormonal changes high stress levels so seeing as though i was in a high stress situation i was grieving a death of a loved one and i was also dealing with a very toxic and narcissistic person that caused a lot of stress in my life grief is a big big thing grief is something that you don't see like they always say life goes on unfortunately you have to pick yourself up and move on and work and do what you have to do in life and i didn't stop to actually deal with my mental health in that moment months have passed i just picked up moved on and you just you think you're okay and my hair showed me that i was not okay so step one on how i cured my alopecia mental health your hair is not going to grow back if you do not tackle your mental health so let's reel it back to when i discovered my first ball spot i was taking vitamins i'm using all type of hair oil and my hair did not get better it got worse i developed a second ball spot so that proves no amount of vitamins or hair care products can fix this issue so step one if you are dealing with a toxic person I know sometimes it's hard sometimes you feel like you may need this person sometimes you may be lonely and you just need a companion or you may be emotionally attached to this person whatever it is if this person is causing stress is mentally abusing you physically abusing you do what you have to do to remove yourself I know it's hard sometimes you know narcissistic people they do this cat and mouse game where they're really really nice and you really really like their company and then that's how they bait you in and then they switch and they're the worst guys if i don't i know i don't have to go into detail if you have ever dealt with a person like this and i do not like to you know out other people but when you have done something or you were mentally abusing me in a way where I started losing my hair and it 
everything is not 100% that person's fault but this person was not sensitive to me and what I had going on I was there for that person but anyway do what you have to do to remove yourself from this person I had to say hey I cannot do this anymore I have to care I have to worry about me first you know my hair showed me that I was not taking care of me I was you know making myself smaller and putting up with all these things from a person just to have them around this person was not worth it at all and when I tell you guys that was the best decision I have ever made is getting away from this person so that's number one if you are dealing with a stressful person a toxic person I know it's easier said than done but okay next is grief and stress so sometimes like with grieving there's not much you can do that that person isn't coming back you know you just have to learn how to live with it but these are the things that I did to better my mental health so I went walking in the park I walked four miles at the heat of the day I love that challenge actually um, so walking in the park exercising get a get a gym membership you know if that's your thing I also really loved hot yoga I'm um, go to church seek a therapist find someone to talk to um, like you guys see here I have this notebook I do write in my notebook a lot just to get things off my chest I, I started traveling do things that make you feel good I said I know it's easier said than done it is not easy it is a process it takes time but if you do not your hair isn't coming back it's going to get worse so mind over matter that's the first step not hair care not oils mental health okay so my next step is start healing yourself from the inside out so before you start with the oils and the hair care you need to regulate your body my second issue was I had hormonal changes my periods were irregular if you are taking any type of contraception like emergency contraception or you're on birth control pills things like that will cause your hormones to rapidly decrease and increase and that can also cause hair loss so so in that case let's talk vitamins so vitamins that help with stress CBD gummies if you are into that ashwagandha magnesium so I actually have these I got these from TJ Maxx these are called the calm gummies they are magnesium supplements in strawberry so I do have these and it is a large can I take this anytime you know I may get nervous about something or I just feel a little anxious that day what was crazy is I hate to keep talking about that past person but if you have to take CBD gummies or anything like this to hang around a person then that is not the person for you so the I take these um, I do not have any ashwagandha right now I am out but ashwagandha is another supplement that I took for my stress and um, also B complex is great and vitamin D you can do further research on other supplements that are good for stress these are just the ones that I preferred next are hormone supplements so I do have a few different kinds that I do like I am out of one but there is a hormone balance supplement they are gummies I do get them from Amazon I will put them on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about but I also like this brand It's hormone balance and probiotics it's an all-in-one women's supplement this is what I have been taking lately So I take these every single day to regulate my hormones and to lower my stress levels. And lastly is my holy grail supplements you need for your hair, for your actual hair growth. So just a little backstory: three or four years ago I decided to transition from relaxers and go natural I decided not to start over and cut my hair off because I love my hair my hairstylist at the time told me um, it would be good to just 
grow my hair out and just cut it you know every month cut a lot off and eventually my new growth will grow all the way out and I'll cut off all of my relaxed hair I was shopping at forever 21 and forever 21 had a sale and they had these supplements these hair vitamin supplements they were one dollar each why they were one dollar I don't know but I just bought them this is called hair to Men. it is by Lily Galici now I used to watch Shaws of Sunset I don't know if you guys have ever seen that she was on that show and she developed her own brand of supplements I started using these and my hair grew out so fast so I decided to repurchase these they, it wasn't a dollar this time I bought them I purchased these from Amazon but this if you do not purchase anything else please this works this is Lily Miss Lily Galici if you are watching this video ma'am purchase these hair to men vitamins so like I said earlier in the video if you are not dealing with alopecia but you want to grow your hair out longer thicker shinier healthier this is what you purchase okay my next step is to make minor hair care changes so when i say minor changes i mean switching from normal hair ties to silk hair ties making sure you have the proper detangling brush and hairstyles my ladies who like to get sew-ins and like to get braids and knotless braids that is out you when i say protective styling i mean that no tight nothing no tight ponytails your hair is extremely delicate besides my hair balding the rest of my hair began to feel thinner brittle my hair was in like slick back buns because i had bald spots here and right behind my hairline here strictly slick back buns if i was going out i may add some hair to my ponytail if you are into wigs wearing a wig is the best thing i would just slick my hair back or put my hair in two pigtails so it wasn't tight and put a wig on ladies sew-ins with that tension of your hair pulling out i tried it and it made my hair worse so you know cute like hair clips and things of that nature depend depending on where your ball spots are style your hair around that i also bought a powder that you can put on your hair you know just in case you can see through it do what you have to do but make sure your hair is in a protective style okay so now we can get into hair care first step of my hair care was hot oil treatments i used to do hot oil treatments in high school i haven't done them in a very long time so i did invest in one of these bottles i, I purchased this from amazon i do think shein carries these as well so the more i researched i heard about amla oil amla oil <laughs> if you've ever used it it has a distinctive smell um, it is something that I cannot keep in my hair throughout the day. I cannot sleep with that in my hair. So I started with using Amla oil as a hot oil treatment. So I would take this bottle and I would first drench my scalp. And then I would carry the oil down to the ends. I would just clip my hair up and I would either walk around the house for an hour or I would sit under the dryer with the hair dryer on maybe like low medium you don't want it too hot and that's how I did my hot oil treatments if you do not want to use amla oil I also purchased this from TJ Maxx this is a rosemary and mint hot oil I do use this as well but you can use whatever you find benefit your hair and also aid in hair growth sometimes the amla oil only on my bald spots and I do have sensitive itchy skin so I would use tea tree oil on the rest of my scalp and then use the rosemary and mint on the ends of my hair so I would mix it up sometimes but I would do this once 
a week before I washed my hair. I detangled my hair before I got in the shower so I'm not ripping my hair out once I'm in the shower. So the shampoo that I like to use and I also use this back in high school. I haven't used it for a while but Mane and Tail. Mane and Tail was the best option for my hair. I don't know if you guys know but it's really like for horses to grow their hair out but they do sell this stuff in Walmart they may have it in Target I'm not sure I get mine from the beauty supply stores I think Amazon also carries this brand but I would first wash my hair with the mane and tail hair wash just to get any dirt grime oils so I would wash my hair one time with mane and tail just to clean my hair clean my scalp i will wash my hair a second time with an alopecia shampoo by the brand barbershop aid i did a little research and i found this brand on amazon and what sold me was in the reviews a lady said that her son had alopecia and you know she went to many dermatologists they did all kind of you know, treatments and shots his hair never grew back she discovered that product and she said her son hair grew back so I was sold they do have a shampoo conditioner and a hair oil I did not purchase the conditioner because by my hair being natural I do need a really moisturizing conditioner to detangle so I just purchased the shampoo and the hair oil so I would wash my hair a second time with this shampoo I would really get in there and massage my scalp and I would leave that shampoo in my hair for a good five minutes while I did my face wash then I would come back with my conditioner I would use two different conditioners. The first conditioner was also from Mane and Tail, but Mane and Tail's conditioner is not very moisturizing. So I would use that and I would let that sit in my hair. Maybe I need to shave my legs, so I would go ahead and do that or, you know, do a face scrub. I just would go on in my shower, do something else, and then I would rinse that conditioner out my hair then to detangle and moisturize my hair i use a different conditioner it is not helpful with any type of hair growth but it does help detangle my hair it detangles any type of hair i don't care if you have the most coarse hair in the world if you have silky hair if your hair is the curliest tight curls like mine this conditioner is from tj maxx I have been using this for years. I usually use the shampoo and conditioner. I buy it in bulk. It usually comes in two in the pack. So the shampoo and conditioner comes together for $9.99. It has been detangling the, the worst knots. I mean, it doesn't matter if your hair is like a wasp nest. It will detangle. So lastly, I will use this to moisturize and detangle my hair rinse that out and depending on what i have planned throughout the week i will put a hair mask in my hair um you can use any hair mask of your choice i will insert a picture of the brand that i use i like to mix it up from time to time depending on what i'm dealing with so if my hair is itchy i will use a tea tree hair mask i'll use a uh, argan hair mask um a brazilian hair mask whatever i need at that time if my hair is brittle dry whatever I will put this hair mask in my hair and leave it all night. I will sleep in it. So I'll usually slick my hair back in a nice little bun. Depending if I have to go somewhere the next day, I will have, you know, slick my hair back and maybe style it with my baby hairs. But I will still have the hair mask in my hair. I will leave that in overnight. And that night, I will wash the hair mask out. And then I will continue with my hair care. So I usually wash my hair every three to four days or once a week depending on how dirty my hair feels so you just have to be mindful of how you are styling your hair but before i would put my hair in different styles i would start with oiling so this hair oil is from the same brand barbershop aid it is for anyone who is struggling with alopecia so here is what this looks like but before i would put any type of hair oil on my hair i would dermaplane 
my bald spot so i did purchase this from shein so mine is really really dirty i haven't used it since but before i would oil my bald spots i would dermaplane this spot and this spot as well as my edges i just added my edges in because you you always want to grow your edges out thick and healthy so this helps with blood circulation so obviously it's a bunch of needles maybe a hundred needles and it is piercing your scalp causing a little bleeding and it helps the blood circulate and that aids in hair growth so before I oiled I would dermaplane and I did this every two weeks I wouldn't do it as often because you want your scalp to heal on the first week I would dermaplane and then I would oil my scalp immediately after so I would oil my scalp with this every other day as soon as my hair started to feel dry I would add this oil so I would only use this oil on my bald spots and also just to grow my edges my edges weren't damaged at the time but you like I said I always want to keep my edges healthy so I would use this on my bald spots on the rest of my hair this can help with anyone who is not suffering from alopecia but want to grow their hair out on the rest of my scalp I used rosemary oil I used to use the rosemary oil that is it Millie Mealy I don't know I'll post the brand but I used to use their rosemary oil it was very popular in my opinion I don't think that it thinned or made my hair fall out because I only used that on the rest of my hair I did not use that oil on my bald spots so it was fine for me you know since a lot of people are complaining that it is balding their hair I don't use it anymore so I would use this rosemary and mint on the rest of my scalp I also purchased this from Marshalls it was on sale any rosemary oil is key to growing your hair out I've never used rosemary oil before and I definitely see a difference so like I said ladies who are just trying to grow their hair out this is for you so if you are not suffering from alopecia the only thing that I recommend you take out of your hair care routine are these products that specialize in alopecia just take that out of your routine but everything else can help anyone grow their hair out longer thicker so these a lot of these products aren't new to me I just added them back into my routine because of what I was dealing with so the last and final step is to be consistent and to be patient you have to really be patient with yourself no one wants to see their hair falling out sometimes you're really insecure about it but you have to be really patient with yourself it takes time everyone's hair grows back at a different rate so once i began to tackle my mental health you know walking in the park exercising and taking better care of my hair i noticed a difference within three months at six months my hair was completely grown in so it's been about a full year since I started this process and I have a good two inches of hair grown fully grown in each of my bald spots so I want to thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video is helpful to anyone who is dealing with alopecia or just wanting to grow their hair. If this video was helpful, guys, please feel free to comment below. I would love to hear your stories and how this happened to you. If you do try out my methods, then please comment below and let me know how this worked for you over time. Be sure to like this video if it was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wish you guys all the best and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.